I've been sitting on that for like months and months and months, just like waiting. It's Cameron and Farmer. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jacob. Welcome back to Sunday Yap Session, the show where every Sunday I hop on here and yap at you all about something with some sort of cohesive through line to carry us all through. Sometimes we do better than others. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. That helps me out quite a bit. And if you want to come yap with me every single Sunday, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I upload at least once a week every Sunday and sometimes I upload more. Today we are drinking Topo Chico Sabores Tangerine. My mom got me these. I've been getting into these. They're pretty good. It's pretty good not too mad at it. You know, before we get into the video today, I was thinking earlier when I was sitting down and like getting ready to record, I think it's very interesting amidst the era of the pandemic where I'm wearing a mask pretty much everywhere I go that y'all online see my face more than people in real life see my face. <laughs> I find that very, very interesting that like online nowadays is pretty much the only place other than like my boyfriend really because we hang out like in my apartment. The only person that sees my face is my boyfriend and the internet. Very interesting. Just an interesting little observation I observe. <laughs> Keeping it very demure by not letting the townies see my face. Very interesting. Today I just want to kind of chat about like what's going on in my world and what I'm going to be up to. By the time I upload this, I should be getting ready to leave for Chicago, which I'm really excited for. I haven't been on vacation in a hot minute, so I'm very much so looking forward to that. I'm going to be hanging out with two of my besties who hopefully I'll be able to record a yap session with them and then my boyfriend is coming with me as well so it's gonna be really really fun I think this is the second time me and my boyfriend have traveled together and the first time was very very fun very much so looking forward to that it'll be a lot of fun I'm gonna try to record a vlog up there as well I've done that before if you haven't seen my Chicago vlog it didn't really like take off because part of the music I used in it was like a copyrighted remix that I made I might need to go like re-edit that because I'm very very proud of that video that's probably the best video that's on this channel I am really really proud of that video and how it turned out. So if you enjoy like vlog type of content, travel sort of content, definitely give that a look. But I'm gonna try to do my best to record and do like another two part vlog series while I'm up there. I love going to Chicago so much. I think this is gonna be like my fourth or fifth time going. I've gone up there quite a bit and I usually go up there with these same friends that I'm hanging out with. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna do some exploring, some looking around, maybe a little shopping. Every time I go like, out of the state, I always end up somewhere where there's like a Uniqlo, which is my favorite place to get clothes at a lot of the time. And like, I need some new pants. So gonna hit up Uniqlo for sure. Very excited too. Last time we went there, we went to this place. I think it was called Hanabusa Cafe and it was in downtown Chicago. It's in that last vlog. I am so excited to eat that again because I got like some bulgogi beef rice bowl thing and like some delicious lemonade tea stuff. And like, oh, it grew up. I'm about to drool just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm very much so. Looking forward to that and having some of that and just like hanging out with my friends. I'm gonna be off like the entire week from work too, which is really, really nice because I'm always working hard. <laughs> working harder than I should be and not taking as much time for myself as I should be. So when I get to do these like big long vacations, I'm always really, really excited. And I always come back like feeling so much better too. Feeling better, but then also like wishing my vacation was like a month long instead of a week long. So we'll check back in once it's over and see how I'm feeling, but very, very excited to do that. I also just recently celebrated my boyfriend's 31st birthday which that was really really fun we usually just kind of like keep it low-key for both of our birthdays neither one of us are like you know like big party pomp and circumstance sort of people so we just like hung out had ramen i got him a really really cool gift and like one thing about me i love giving people gifts and i love like scheming gifts i'm a very observant person i feel like i have a very good sense of like what people want or things that people would want before they even know that they want it or that it's something they could get so for my boyfriend's birthday he is a really really big fan of the movie the shawshank redemption that's like his favorite movie of all time. He showed me it. I loved it. I don't know why, but like maybe it's just like the title. I don't know. Sawshank Sa like sounds scary. So I thought it was going to be like a horror movie or something, but he showed me that movie like months and months and months ago. I loved it. It was great. In a lot of ways, I was like, this is kind of just like a perfect movie. I don't know like what I would change about it. It was very, very good. And so I've like kept that in the back of my mind. And then I got an email from Turntable Lab, who's like a vinyl distributor. And they're like, hey, we're doing this limited edition. Only 2000 are going to be made. Special pressing color vinyl version of the Shawshank Redemption soundtrack and immediately I was like okay <laughs> birthday present checked off and that was back in like June I think when I bought that and it's October now so I've been sitting on that for like months and months and months just like waiting and scheming and planning. So that was really fun to surprise him with that because he really, really liked it. And I love doing stuff like that. I love like observing people's interests and what they like and then in the back of my mind being like, hmm, how can I, how can I find a gift or something like this for that? So that was really fun. We had some ramen, hung out. We watched a movie. What did we watch? Oh, we watched Dark Shadows. That movie was not good. <laughs> I did not like that movie. It was like, Fine. I feel like that movie was having a really difficult time trying to decide if it wanted to be like a very drama sort of movie or like a comedy. I don't know. Like there was just so much going on. There was just a lot. There was a lot. Shout out to my girl Chloe Grace Moretz though. Love her acting. I've been like a fan of her since I was a kid. So it was cool seeing her in that. Everything else though, I was just like, what is happening? I don't know what 
what is going on? I also thought it was weird too that like everybody who was like a supernatural sort of character was like abnormally pale. So anytime there was like a pale person that popped up on the screen, I was like, okay, you're gonna be like some supernatural creature. And it was the case every single time. I thought they were all gonna be vampires. Um, turns out there were lots of other creatures going on, but I was just like, I don't know. It was it was like a weird, weird movie. And then like the end too, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, the girl that they threw in. I've got, I guess dark spoilers dark shadow spoilers if you care about that there's like a part in it where this like doctor lady is doing like infusions like blood infusions on the main guy trying to like de-vampire him because that's what he wants and then she you find out that she's like using the blood to infuse herself and so he like kills her and throws her in the lake and it's like bye and then at the end of the movie it's like her corpse floating in the water and then her eyes open and it's like oh my gosh she became a vampire because she was like infusing herself with this vampire blood and i was like yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, everything felt very predictable, but also like there was just so many things happening. Did not enjoy that, but it was like entertaining to watch at the very least. So if you enjoy that, sure, I guess. I logged it on my letterbox. I try to keep pretty up to date on my letterbox. I'm not like a super big movie analysis person, but I like reading people's reviews and I like using it basically just to log what I watch and what I've been interested in and stuff. So if you're a letterbox person, maybe I'll put my letterbox on the screen and you can follow me on there and see my supreme elite top tier flawless movie critiques and movie perspective. <laughs> There's been like a couple movies that I've watched where I like haven't put a review because I know I'm gonna get eaten up. Oh, uh, what was that one movie I watched? I think Princess Bride. I'll put it on the screen if that's the movie I'm thinking of. I did not like that movie. I did not understand why y'all were gagging. Don't attack me. Sorry. Sorry that I don't like the movie. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got been going on lately. Mostly just kind of like hoping that fall actually comes at some point because the area where I live, I live in the Midwest. It has just still been like so hot and I'm like we're in October. I want fall weather. I love fall weather. Fall and spring are like my favorite seasons because it is not too hot and not too cold. And I'm just like waiting for fall to actually arrive. I feel like this has just been happening more and more as like global warming <laughs> and climate change and all of that does its way with the weather and stuff like that. But I just feel like it just gets so hot and it just stays hot. Summer is like way longer than it should ever be. And I just want some cool, nice weather where I'm not like sweating to death every single time I go outside. Like I think the high today is like 89 degrees or something like that in October. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think that's pretty much all I got to say today, really. Last thing I wanted to touch on was thank you all for passing 500 subscribers. I was very, very gagged <laughs> when I saw that hit. I think that's really, really cool. I've never even really been doing this like YouTube thing for that long, so it's been cool to kind of see the progress of the channel go on and so on and so forth. We're getting pretty close to hitting like six months of Sunday Yap sessions, which is also wild. And I have some very, very exciting stuff planned that I'm gonna be hopefully being able to talk about soon. I have some cool ideas for how I want to like level up Sunday Yap session and do some special episodes and stuff. I'm definitely someone who I like to like speak on things when I have all of it ready and ready to go though. So I'm not gonna say what that is or what all is going to happen until I actually have it. But just know I'm cooking on the back end trying to do some special stuff. So thank you all so much for everyone who supported Sunday Yap session and all the other videos I've made. It's been very, very fun making videos for y'all. This is like my favorite platform to make videos on now. If you follow me on like TikTok and Instagram, you've probably noticed that I've like scaled back from posting a ton there just cause like anytime I wanna film something, I'm just like, I would rather just talk about it on here and I would rather talk about it on YouTube because it's so much more fun for me. I think too, it's just cause like the audience is smaller as well. There's just so much less chronically online bad faith engagement that I have on here compared to other places. So I really feel like I can come on here and like actually thoroughly explore topics and y'all will rock with me and y'all will listen and y'all will engage and put those thinking caps on. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, it's kind of rambly, yappy sort of video. Be sure to give it a like, like I said, that helps me out quite a bit. And if you want to come yap with me every single Sunday, hit that subscribe button because I'm on here at least once a week yapping about something, having something to say. I hope you all have a great week, have a great time, and I will catch you all later.